B-reel went off, so... Uh... Alright, here we go, guys. Lovely. Lovely. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be decorating a gingerbread house. We're well, building and decorating it. It is a two-step event. I'm going to open this up. If you hear any talking, that is my mom. Gingerbread house haul. We have the gingerbread here. It smells so good. We have the icing. And we have decorations. Some sugary christmas trees some other red sugary objects and a bunch of random things oh this is a tray okay prepare the icing bag need icing bag for one minute so we're gonna need this i'll see you guys in a minute step two open icing bag remove the cap and snip of the I can't read. Be sure not to cut the opening too large. Okay, well, how much do I cut off? I don't know. Maybe like that much. It's always better to do less, guys. That's what I've figured over the years. Okay, so that's done. Prepare house pieces. Lay out all of the house pieces on table. Pipe a line of icing in the four canals of easy build tray. Then on the wrong side, rough side of the front and back panels, pipe a thick. Okay. I'm gonna open up the gingerbread. Girl. I don't wanna break anything. But I feel like at that point I would just accept it and go with it because once it's broken, it can't be fixed. Well, it can, actually. That's a lie. I don't know what this is. Oh, chimney. Okay, I'm not going to be able to talk and concentrate at the same time. So maybe this was not the best idea. Now, I need to pipe into these canals. So I feel like I'm going to need quite a lot of icing for the base. All right, we'll just do two layers. Perfect. So... So these go this way, I'm pretty sure. I have faith. Guys, I have faith. Oh, I just put my finger in it. It's already falling. Okay. I guess it needs to dry. Okay, so now we're going to attach this front piece. I think I just need to like build it and then let it like set. And then we'll set to do all this. Okay. Oh my goodness. I think I should like let it set before I put the roof on because I feel like if I put the roof on, it's going to fall. And then my artwork is going to be like my heart will be shattered into a million pieces. More pieces than if it breaks. I understand. Oh. We're just making a mess, but you know what? At this point, I've just accepted it. I keep calling it glue. It's not glue. Crafty activities require glue. One side is being very stubborn. You need it to be sturdy so that it holds up the rest of the house. Like my best option is to let it set and come back. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we'll put the roof on and then we'll let the roof set and then we'll come back and we'll decorate and hope that it doesn't fall apart. So, um, my finger's really dirty now. So I'm just going to pipe. And we're going to hope for the best. Okay, so it says you need to put the things on and then hold it for a minute. This is either going to go very well or horribly wrong. And I'm really hoping for the first option, but I guess we'll see. I think the issue is I have not much patience either. So... So I feel like you have to have a lot of patience when it comes to decorating a gingerbread house. Because you need to wait for it to set and like, you know, if it falls apart, you kind of have to like pick up the pieces, like literally, and like fix it. But I just like don't have patience. I'm gonna start piping the roof. 
So, where should I put my drink? I've done the outlining on that side. I don't think that's too bad. I guess take notes that I shouldn't be a builder. I don't think architecture is my my forte. Um, yeah, no. All right, I'm gonna finish this side. This is so bad, I can't. I could never do cake decorating either. There's literally outlines to follow and I still struggle. Colorful dots. Sounds good to me. I think I'm just gonna like stick the colors on randomly without really a pattern. I think that is the go with this house is just whatever I feel like doing in the moment. Okay, looks all right. That's that side. Oh my gosh, I keep getting icing everywhere and I don't know like how. I probably shouldn't have my house like this. Oh, oh my gosh. Probably shouldn't have the house this close to the edge. There's one push and it's all over, you know? Okay, I'm really hoping I have enough dots to like do this entire house. I do not, that is an issue. That is an issue indeed. But we're really hoping for the best. Surely, surely. I think we're one short. <gasps> we're one short. That is tragic. We're one short. Are you serious? Okay. This is that side. Wow. And this is this side. That is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. Where is all this icing coming from? Like, I get it. It's coming from this, but like, I don't really understand. I need a lot of icing for the chimney. We'll put it like here. Is that a good spot? I feel like I went into this actually wanting to try. Now I've just kind of accepted that it's not gonna be perfect okay oh my gosh where is this coming from here okay that's not too bad do the windows gravity is like fighting against me right now well i mean gravity always is funny oh what am i saying that kind of looks horrible <laughs> i'm literally like struggling right now. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. You know what? I've just accepted that this video is... Those smell like what I thought they would smell like. I'm gonna put a little heart in this hole because this is a house of love. I'm so surprised this hasn't fallen apart yet but I also don't want to say that because I feel like I'm gonna jinx it and then it's gonna fall apart. The windows look tragic, but apart from that, I feel like we're doing okay. If there are any like cake decorators or bakers watching this video, I apologize because I'm professional. Definitely very unprofessional. I've kind of just accepted that gingerbread house building and decorating is not my thing. It's definitely a house of love now. Actually, I need to use these. I'm gonna use these and put them like along the front because it looks pretty tragic on the front. So I feel like if I cover up my mistakes with these, no one's gonna know. Why does the icing, like, I'm gonna go do this because I think this is gonna require precise concentration. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see, but I've outlined the bottom and then I've done a little pathway. I don't know what to do with these though. Like, I feel like I have to use these. If I could open it, that would be great. One there. And then one there kind of covers up my mistakes. <laughs> All right, we have a snowman, a gingerbread man, or woman, and a little Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Uh, I feel like I need to add more to that. A little snowman. Guys, so this is the mess we're left with. Um, so much icing. Like, this bag, uh, literally going everywhere. These were going everywhere. We've got a few little things left. Okay guys, this is the finished product. You know, this was quite a journey. We'll admit that, but you know what? We stuck it out. This is the finished product and it didn't fall over. Okay guys, so this is the front. As you can see, we have the snowman, the gingerbread man, the tree, and then we have the path up to the house, which is maybe one of my favorite parts of the house. We have some Christmas trees, one there, there's one there, one there. The windows are a bit abstract, let's say that. This is the side of the house. 
we have some hearts along the top and this very unique design that wasn't copied off the gingerbread definitely this side of the house is definitely the one that was falling over so but you know what it didn't fall over and there's not really anything at the back so let's not talk about the back hi everyone again oh, I just threw that over. oh wow see i only heard the process this is my um house i think it's very well done honestly you really? keep saying yeah i think it's a great effort i thought it's like i thought it's going to be like not very nice but you've done that no, I'm not saying it just for the video. I'm very impressed. Oh, honestly, I would not have done any better job. Well, my new job path is an architect, guys. It's coming. Amazing. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The subscribe button is down below. Thank you guys for all the support this year. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So Ooh.